Bauchi State Command of the Nigeria Police Force has secretly obtained an ex parte order from the court to remand in prison the detained Bauchi Chief Gun Zaz of Zaland, His Royal Majesty Ishaku Kumo. Some reporters had reported on Thursday that Kumo, a retired air commando with the Nigeria Air Force, was being detained at the Bauchi State Police Criminal Intelligence and Investigation Department over an undisclosed offense. A source at two Sahara reporters that Christian chiefs in the state and other parts of northern Nigeria were constantly being harassed and intimidated by security agencies working as tools in the hands of northern political leaders who were largely Muslims. It was gathered that northern governors who were Muslims and stepped, had stepped up the harassment of Christian chiefs after the February 25 presidential election, especially those in communities that voted massively for the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Following the report, the police on Friday went and obtained an expertise order from the court to remand Como in the correctional center after allegedly implicating him with the suspects arrested in connection with crisis in Sang village where one person was killed and houses destroyed over community leadership source. Another source who would not want his identity revealed told Sahara reporters on Friday that Komo's or this was a political fight between the governor Bala Abdukada Mohammed and uh, Rights Honorable Yakubu Dugara, the Speaker of the Eighth National Assembly. The governor is trying to use uh, his royal majesty Gong Za to get back at Dugara, he added. Meanwhile, the Bauchi police command in a crime bulletin issued on Friday denied that his royal majesty Kumu was arrested, harassed and intimidated by security agencies. The crime bulletin signed by the command spokesperson SP Ahmed Mohammed Wakil said the command wishes to categorically state that the narrative being peddled around is completely not true. Not true accounts of what transpired, neither is it the really reality on ground as being portrayed by the bogus section of the media. According to the police spokesman, on 15th of April 2023, at about 7 p.m., the command received a distress call over an outgoing skirmish in Buguru local government area of the state. Following the narratives, it has become imperative to update members of the public on the command's investigative findings and position regarding the true rendition of the case. Preliminary investigation revealed that the communal clash in Sang village of Buguru local governments emanated from the coronation of a hamlet head of Sang, who the air commander retired acting as Gumza of a Sayawa community. One air commander, Ishaku Komo, retired, said, selected one Mr. Matthew Ishaya as the Hamlet's head of Sang village, Buguru local government's area of Bauchi State. The irate chief from different factions processes against the coronation of the new Sayawa Hamlet chief. This resulted in igniting the unhealthy and troublesome situation. Consequently, it resulted in the attack of innocent residents as the irate youth set 65 houses, three motorcycles and other properties worth millions of naira ablaze and also one Apollo Danlama male 70 years was coldly killed in the incident while Nemiya Bature 65 years and six others were grievously injured in the fracas. Prompt response an action by the command has yielded the immediate arrest of seven suspects in connection to the two more, including the retired air commando. Thus, air commando Ishaku Komo retired 
May 71 years, Matthew Ishaya, male, 56 years, Yakubu Bala, 65 years, Apollos Asad, 72 years, Napanier, Joshua, 40 years, Abenagu, Zaka, male, aged 30 years, and James Dajum, male, aged 65. Waki further stated that one locally made revolver pistol and one cartridge with one knife were recovered from the suspect he added that discreet investigation by the command has uncovered that there is a prima facie case for the offenses of criminal conspiracy inciting disturbance of the public peace mischief by fire causing grievous halt and culpable homicide against the aforementioned persons Investigation remains at top gear and more revelations will be communicated in due course. Okay. <laughs> we don't know which is they can lie. These are our people, eh? these are our leaders and the security people, they can lie for Africa. <laughs> Even the one with the apple for a colo colo like this, they go say not lie, no be so we have seen it. So nobody's gonna be believing them. So there must be an undertone. Because I was like, ah, how can we say because somebody voted for PSOB, so how have they confirmed it? Well, I realize that these guys cannot be trusted. When a, a police a chief, what do they call it, inspector of, a, yes, a commissioner of police, yeah, said there is no way he could identify whether some people are children or not when they were accusing him or asking him about a, a underage voting. He said, how can you just see people and just determine their children? Ha! And I would then not say, <laughs> This one, eh? Mm -mm. Kaki no believe that the level of impunity and corruption in this country eh, is another level, honestly. So, what do you expect when they don't really say truth? When somebody say, oh, somebody was joking, somebody was stressing something, it's not joking, just the area, they forget. Eh? Like, seriously. So, it's always difficult to even believe the police. That is in Nigeria for you. The creation of Lugard. By God, tree at its behest. I don't know what you people want to gain if this country is not united. God will punish all of you that are supporting one Nigeria. Ah, a lot, but it won't take me. It won't take me. People are just like that. I want to tell you that the needful must be done. And some of believe that it's a good order for the man to be arrested. No wahala. Whatever a man sues, definitely he will reap. Nigeria is not once and can never is not one can can never be won. Total disintegration is what we need. Nothing else can save uh, us. For us to divide uh, is a long process and uh, but for them to do the right thing so that we will not be divided. It's just a simple thing. But unfortunately, you know, our journey is not supposed to be far away. We are supposed to be, you know. Just stretch our hands and get to the destination we are supposed to get to. But unfortunately, <laughs> very short distance. We can't even get there just because people are not ready to do the needful. Because to do the right thing is more beneficial than to say, oh, we want to go our separate way. But you begin to ask yourself, why is it that they can't do this simple thing? That is where the problem lies. That is where the problem lies. And somebody who claims to be sane. We question them the kind of asking for different country for Easterners. Is this how South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and other countries are doing to develop their country in modern age? Food for thought. This is Nigeria for you. Anything can happen. One Nigeria indeed. Religion will destroy northerners. One Nigeria indeed. Wow. So guys, that's all you will say. I'm gonna let's say your opinion. Thank you.